here we are on the super clean 1998 Sea Ray. This is a 19 footer, I believe, 18 footer, somewhere in there. Eight person, 1100 pounds. So we're gonna give this a water test out on Wolking Lake right here. Give it a rundown real quick and see how it does. So I'll flip it around. I've got to start it up. Uh, we're up to temp at the temperature, oil pressure, RPM's good here. And then we're gonna uh, voltage charging fuel and speed around right there. Got a vibration there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in gear and give it a little run and we'll see how it does. So I'm gonna start out by just shifting it in. Okay, in gear there. All right, we're gonna do that. Now we uh, in gear, trimming all the way down. All right, let's go ahead and turn the boat around. I'm gonna add a little bit of throttle to it here. So we're gonna bring up the throttle a little bit. Hear the motor running there. Okay, trims all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead for the hole shot. And we'll do a starting start. So I'm gonna pull back, put it back to an idle, and then we'll hit it here. Ready? Get the wheel straight and there's full throttle. Trim it up. Gets to the gets to the top speed quick. Um, that does really well. It does really well. We have here a 1998 Sea Ray 180 on a 2020 Easy Loader galvanized trailer. Let's show you around this extremely clean boat. Starting at the front, we have a two-inch ball for for that safety chains, four flat plug. Swing away jack, just like that. And then it has a very nice stanchion. This is an integrated stanchion. And so it has two speeds, which is really nice. When you want to try to get those last few cranks, when you want to get that, that bow eye dug into the bow roller, you just put that, pull this out and you put it in low range and you can crank it up really easy, even if it's on dry, it's not even in the water anymore. You can pull the boat snug with that two-speed winch on here. So a really nice winch on there. Um, features the boat. We've got our nav lights up front here. We've got plenty of seating here in the open bow. Condition-wise, this boat is really, really good for the year. The hours on it are extremely low. Pretty much excellent condition. Overall, you've got a few little things. The button snaps, you look close, the button snaps have a little bit of corrosion on them uh, from there, but those could be replaced or taken off. But the hole is almost, almost perfect. Oh my gosh, it's almost exactly perfect. Like new perfect. Um, the upholstery is in good shape too. We'll get to that inside here. Uh, oil bath hubs on the trailer. Those are great because they make it really easy uh, to, to uh, there's very low maintenance. You can change the oil on them every five years is what the, the recommendation is. So those are really good. We got LED lighting on the trailer. Uh, coming around back here, 
We've got the Alpha One inboard outboard drive. We checked the bellows on it and all of those, and they're in excellent condition. So those those do not need to be changed anytime soon. Excellent condition. Um, prop condition. Almost a little bit faded. We got a teeny little nick in it, but I mean, we're talking like it's pretty darn good. As well as it moved the boat really good, as you could see in the video. Um, transom tie downs. We got a flip over boarding ladder here. To get it out with a grab handle. Here's our fuel. We put fuel in it yesterday. That takes it fast. There's not a lot of bubbling back. Some boats take forever to fuel up. This one was fast. Uh, going through around here, there's the transducer right there, but it does not have a fish finder on it. Actually, it might come with one. I think it does. So it has the fish finder. I'm uh, moving around here to this side. I don't see, I mean, you got a little, you got a little something on the rub rail, a couple of scrapes on the rub rail. But there's like no dock marks or anything on this boat. Nothing. I know it's white and it's hard to see, but there's really none. Not even anything from the bow being put on the beach. Okay, well let's hop up inside here. I'll show you around in there. Oh, first let's get some measurements. Overall length of the boat just for trailering. So for a garage or something, you'll need 23 feet uh, to the back of the motor. Our width. Probably about nine feet for width, just to give you a little bit of extra room. The overall boat is an 18, and 180 is 18 footer. Get up inside of the boat it comes up pretty high to me so it's there so from the bottom of the floor we got about 27 27 inches to the top of the gunwale there um, capacity is eight people we've got to uh, we'll pull this open so you can see the engine compartment there's little snaps under each side here and then this lifts up, so that holds it up. And then the motor cowling just pulls off there. Okay, so as you can see, it's a Mercruiser 3.0. Pretty solid engine. They don't have, they don't really go bad. They do really good, so rock solid motor there. Uh, like I said, it's got super low hours. It does not have an hour meter on it, so we cannot verify hours, um, but I mean, it's got to be pretty darn low with the condition of the boat because you can't use, not use it. And the upholstery is original and everything, so it has to have pretty darn low hours. Um, engine's been all checked out and gone through. We've got the running test there too for you, but it should be ready to play. These cushions here are removable. You can take those out, but they sit in that each side. A little cooler on this side if you wanted to put some ice in there it is missing this section right here i have not been able to find it it might be somewhere under a seat or something but this little through section right here like that side has it has it closed off all well, solid i'll bet you oh there was a snap on it right here so that was like a piece of vinyl or something but that could probably be fixed pretty easy if you put a piece of vinyl over a little board or something if you wanted to close that up to the battery compartment okay so um, the upholstery is a little bit dirty it's been it got rained on here while I was outside but the upholstery doesn't have any tears in it anywhere like I said a little bit of dirt it's all soft we made sure we put treatment on it when we first came into the shop so the Sun doesn't hurt it or anything but there's no wear marks or tears on the tops 
Yeah, that captain seat's pretty good. Um, there's a little, little tiny upholstery. We got a little upholstery mark right there. Something caught on or something, but there's that. Quite minimal there. Oh yeah, there is a fish finder that goes in. It goes in this cup holder here. It sits inside the cup holder and stuff. But we got a bilge pump blower. That works. Here the bilge pump come on. Navigation lights. Our, our horn. Uh, ignition key. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see over here. We've got our audio system and glove box. Pretty straightforward there. Um, this here comes close. So that locks shut like that to keep it close. Ski locker in here. Okay, there's a little dirty, but there's a huge ski locker in here. Holy smokes! And pull up that section too. Or... Yeah, this whole thing comes open here. Wow, look at that huge locker. More fish hold. <laughs> you can catch marlin and stuff in here. So big, huge ski fish or ski or board locker in here in the middle. There we go. Um, tilt trim, all that works. Uh, you always got to remember this. A lot of people are like, "Oh, the motor won't go up." There's a trailer button, so once it goes past the trim range, you have to hit hit that button to bring it up the rest of the way. So the trim is just when you're going on the water underway, then the trim button will go up, but they don't want you to go up too high and lift that motor up while it's running. So that's why you have a separate button for that, just so you know. We know power steering on it. It's a really clean boat. It runs really good. Um, as you see in the video there, it ran out. It was quick, it's just solid 40 miles an hour. Um, yeah, this would be a really fun boat for you. Uh, condition on it. it's exceptional for the year so I think it's gonna be a really good value for you um, this nice of a boat even though it's got a little bit more uh, age to it it drops the price but ultimately low hours not a lot of use it's gonna really make you a good boat uh, should have a long-term run on it should be able to keep it going really easy that the Merc Cruiser is super super simple and there's every everybody knows how to work on those so they're really really pretty good that way so anyways i think it'll make a really good boat so come out here where you see we're right on highway 101 big open parking lot easy to get into uh green marines the company we're just a little small section of this big lot but just a small dealership but we got a great boat here for you so come on down and we'll see if we can't make a deal on it we'll make a really good boat for you ready to go have some fun